Hello everyone. Let's learn about idiopathic hyperisnophilic syndrome now. So what is the definition of idiopathic hyperisnophilic syndrome? It is defined as persistent dysnophilia of more than 1500 per cubic mm on at least two occasions separated by one month or evidence of prominent tissue isnophilia. Tissue isnophilia means it is defined as more than 20% cells in the bone marrow when it is seen by a pathologist. This idiopathic hyperisnophilic syndrome is associated with symptoms and marked blood isnophilia. There are two variants of idiopathic hyperisnophilic syndrome. One is lymphocytic variant and the other one is myeloproliferative or chronic isnophilic pneumonia. So first let's see lymphocytic variant. It is secondary reactive hyperisnophilic syndrome. Approximately 30% of cases belong to lymphocytic variant. There is clonal T helper 2 lymphocyte hyperplasia and there is increased production of interleukin 4, 5 and 13. So the treatment will also be the depending on the increased production of interleukin 4, 5 and 13. We can give bendalizumab, nepalizumab etc. And now let's see myeloproliferative variant or chronic isnophilic pneumonia. It is approximately 20% of cases. It is primary or neoplastic variant. It occurs because of the deletion in 4Q12. Thank you.